वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ रिहाबिलिटेशन एंड रेट्रोफिटिंग ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर कोर्स इन द लास्ट थ्री मॉड्यूल्स वी हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड रिगार्डिंग द फिजिकल काजेस एंड वी आल्सो केम टू नो रिगार्डिंग हाउ टू असेस दोज काजेस ओके सो दैट वी हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड इन मॉड्यूल नंबर टू so from this particular module that is from module number 4 and 5 as i stated in the first class this is completely related to the medicines okay that means what are all the problems uh, that are existing on the building and what are all the problems we have already been assessed for those problem what are the uh, what i can say remedial measures remedial measures we need to take or what are the repair methods we are going to suggest or retrofitting methods we are going to suggest in order to enhance the life span of the buildings or concrete structures so in that particular thing we are going to discuss in module number 4 okay so uh, let us start with this module number 4 the module number 4 says that clearly maintenance and retrofitting techniques okay the one more uh, topic they have been added here this is called maintenance this is a very very important aspect we need to look into in the buildings okay and also one more uh, topic that is called retrofitting techniques now as i stated we need to suggest the proper medicines depending upon the problem depending upon the problem we need to suggest the ideal medicine so this is the most suitable word so let me start with this a uh, maintenance so maintenance is defined as the work done to keep the work done to keep the civil engineering structure in working condition civil engineering structure that means it may be buildings bridges whatever the concrete structures in the working condition so as to enable them to carry out the function for which they are constructed that means during its life span that means starting from its construction stage to the end of the life okay life span so whatever the thing have been constructed or designed so that function it need to perform throughout its life span okay so that is what that is called maintenance that is the work done to keep the civil engineering structure in working condition so it should work for end of its life span so as to enable them to carry out the function for which they are constructed so now now the life span of a concrete structure depends upon the quality of it in which we are going to perform okay am i right okay because we have been seen that uh, no concrete structure will perform better unless unless you are going to properly uh, use the quality materials or uh, go ahead with the proper construction techniques is it clear okay so if i am going to uh, make the civil engineering structure or a concrete structure in working condition okay so that whatever the function which have been constructed so that function it need to perform throughout its end of its life so that is the called maintenance so this maintenance is required in a uh, various stages which i am going to discuss in the next slides okay so it is preventive in nature yes obviously it is preventive we can prevent that means we can prevent the damage we can prevent the crack okay we can prevent okay that means we can enhance the life span that is what the meaning of that sentence it is preventive in nature so those activities include inspection and works necessary to fulfill the intended function or to sustain original standard of service so what exactly the maintenance or the maintenance steps we are going to do okay the maintenance steps are or the maintenance activities includes inspection and works necessary to fulfill the intended function that means i am suggesting certain repair material i am suggesting certain a uh, crack in the healing techniques i am suggesting certain retrofitting techniques okay so that is what the fulfilling the intended function depending upon the inspection have been performed depending upon the the damage have been assessed so based upon those okay 
आई एम गोइंग टू सजेस्ट सम टेक्निक्स और आई एम मेकिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर बिल्डिंग स्ट्रक्चर टू फुलफिल दो इंटेंडेड फंक्शन और टू सस्टेन ओरिजिनल स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ सर्फिस दैट इज वॉट ओके दैट मीन्स आई एम मेकिंग द the life the building or a concrete structure to come back to its original state okay so that is what the motto of my maintenance i am bringing back the structure to its original state okay next the maintenance of structure is done to meet the following objectives so what are the objective of maintenance prevention of damage due to natural agencies i will discuss this natural agencies means it may be rain water it will be subjected to various phenomena okay and to keep them in good appearance and working condition that means you know that all the uh, concrete structure or the building structure will be subjected to various natural agencies like uh, rain water sun all those things so whatever the building have been designed or constructed it should perform better by resisting all those natural agencies so that is what my uh, motto okay in uh, doing the maintenance okay so next the second thing is repair of the defects now here c is prevention that means i need to construct or design in such a way that i need to design or construct in such a way that whatever the natural agencies are there okay so those natural agencies i need to resist that is one thing that is called prevention the second objective says that if that particular building what have been designed or constructed not able to resist those natural agencies then those natural agencies will create a damage on the concrete structure so those damage occurred on the structure will be repaired that is also a maintenance one is prevention okay that means before uh, we are taking a prevention that means that's what a prevention is better than cure that's what okay before that damage occur we are going to take certain steps okay that is what the prevention and also the second objective okay after the damage that has been happened okay then also i'm going to use certain repair techniques okay our maintenance techniques okay so that is the second objective of the maintenance okay so this is regarding the definition and objective of a maintenance okay so let us go it with a further so what are the different types of maintenance what are the different types of maintenance the maintenance work is broadly classified as number 1 preventive maintenance number 2 remedial maintenance number three routine maintenance number four special maintenance so depending upon the situation depending upon the condition of a structure we need to go ahead let us discuss one by one okay so what is that preventive maintenance see here the maintenance work done before the defects occur before the defects occur or damage developed in the structure is called preventive maintenance that means i am going to take a lot of preventive measures so that no damages that is going to happen on the concrete structure that is called preventive that means initial step itself i am going to take a lot of precautions or preventive measures so that is called preventive maintenance so that's what the maintenance work done before the defects occur or damage developed in the structure is called preventive maintenance okay the preventive maintenance includes once again inspection planning proper planning the program of maintenance and executing whatever i have been planning inspecting okay that means i'm assessing what exactly be done in the maintenance okay then planning that okay then executing that so these are the steps involved in the preventive next it depends upon the specifications that means what extent of damage okay that is going to happen so that is called specification condition the condition of damage and use of structure okay that means how far this uh, uh, structure has been subjected that means a building or a bridge how far it has been subjected to the natural agencies that means what i am trying to suggest here is that's what uh, uh, in uh, is 456 table it clearly says the durability parameter so depending upon the exposure condition 
depending upon the exposure condition use the proper grade of concrete mild exposure condition medium ex sorry moderate exposure condition extreme so depending upon the exposure condition we need to go ahead with the the grade of concrete so that's what they have been highlighted on the table 5 of is 45 because i have been uh, discussing okay in the initial days also that means whatever the concrete you are going to use in this particular area okay we may not be suitable or the condition may not be suitable for the other place so that's why depending upon the exposure condition we need to we need to go ahead with the concrete okay so that's what here the, that is what the use of condition and use of structure okay so what is the uh, uh, natural agency it has been for example if the building existing in the mangalore okay it will be subjected to the salt exposure condition because there the corrosion rate is higher there the lifespan will be very lesser so based upon that i need to take a preventive maintenance is it clear fine so we'll go with the next remedial maintenance it is the maintenance done after the defect so their prevention before here after the defects or damage occur in the structure so after the defects or damage occur in the structure if i am going to do the maintenance that is called remedial maintenance suggesting some remedies based upon the damage that is called remedial maintenance so what are those steps finding the deterioration or damage okay next determining the cause why it has happened what is the extent of damage it has happened okay next evaluating the strength that means whether the damaged structure able to carry the load able to carry the load so that is what evaluating the strength next evaluating the need okay what is the need of that structure that is our next step next selecting and implementing the repair that's what that's what i have been told based upon the cause we need to implement or suggest that means based upon the disease how exactly the doctor suggest the proper medicine here also as a civil engineer based upon the damage you need to suggest the medicine is it clear so that is what the remedial maintenance next routine maintenance routine maintenance means what i can say here see it is the service maintenance attended to the structure periodically periodical maintenance that means uh, we need to perform certain maintenance compulsorily in order to enhance the life span okay that is called periodical maintenance i will tell you what is that what are all those periodical maintenance the nature of work done and interval of time at which it is done depends upon the specification and material of structure purpose intensity and condition so here i have been told attended to the structure periodically for example i have been constructed the building or a structure in this year okay if you are going to do the periodical maintenance immediately at 6 months that means whatever the construction practice you have been implemented or suggested or done it is a very bad practice periodical maintenance doesn't mean that we need to go ahead with a monthly maintenance periodical maintenance is suggesting something like uh, after a year maybe after two years maybe after three years like that okay if that structure life span is increased or whatever the periodical maintenance you are suggesting okay uh, that to, uh, to that particular structure okay so that depends upon the service maintenance okay next what exactly that routine maintenance includes that routine maintenance includes white wash okay patch repair replacement of fittings and fixtures binding of it this is related to road for example now in your home i think you this is the common problem you people have come across see today you have been uh, done the house warming or you people or for example you have been constructed the bridges or fine now maybe after some years it demands some okay it shows some blistering okay a uh, cracks or that the uh, uh, patches of cracks or what i can say whatever the plastering painting you have been done so those will be come out okay 
so that you got blistering okay so if those problem you are going to see okay after maybe after one year maybe after one and a half year maybe after two years something like that so those thing you need to attend those thing you need to attend those are all not i can say the structural parameter those are all the non structural parameter demand by the building in order to enhance the life span or i can say in order to also for the aesthetic appearance is it clear okay and another thing is replacement of fitting and fixtures for it maybe i think uh, if you are properly done or fix the all the sanitary fittings okay that means the whatever the bobcock all those things okay pipes everything is proper it will uh, uh, function proper if there is any improper uh, fittings or fixtures in the bathroom automatically it will uh, uh, show its what i can say the performance okay so those things you need to go ahead with a periodical maintenance it it demands the building demands okay it is not at all related to the strength it is a non structural problem okay structural problem it should perform better maybe 50 years or something but all these things cannot perform 50 years the building demands some periodical maintenance maybe after one year if if you have done the proper construction or whatever the uh, plastering painting or all those thing if you have done properly then okay the building demands the periodical maintenance maybe after two years or three then it is then you have done a very good construction or a, a maintenance practice okay and also in the road case okay usually uh, the maintenance uh, will be more in the case of flexible payments compared to the rigid payments okay because uh, uh, usually the construction practice say that at age of 12 years or something we need to go with the maintenance i think in uh, uh if the rainfall is more okay in that particular places they will go with a yearly maintenance for example in the mysore okay they will go with a yearly maintenance of flexible payments because uh, those potholes or patches of okay repairs it demands because uh, if it is very close to the road if it is very close to the water table okay it demands some repairs so that's why uh nowadays they are suggesting some rigid payments so the rigid payment payments demands the periodical maintenance very less okay next special maintenance so special maintenance means it is work done under special condition that means a very rarely it demands some maintenance that is called special condition okay and require sanction and perform to rectify av damage that's what if there is a av damage that means it is something special not routine not preventive not remedial okay if that is the case that means av damage then we'll go with a special maintenance it may be done for strengthening and updating of the structure to meet the new condition of usage or to increase its serviceability that's what that means if there is any damage or any uh, strength loss in the structure so that means you are going to strengthen that a particular structure or a building by suggesting some retrofitting techniques okay to increase the life span or its serviceability is it clear so that is what the special maintenance so what exactly it includes it includes particular or complete renewal occurring at long interval such as floors that means if it is any damage on the floors it may be any damage on the roof it may be damage on the beams okay this this are all the special damages we need to look in okay in order to go ahead with a special maintenance so this is regarding the different types of maintenance uh, we need to uh, perform in order to increase the serviceability or a life span of a building okay so that means the building demands different types of maintenance okay it may be preventive maintenance it may be remedial maintenance it may be in terms of periodical maintenance it may be in terms of special maintenance okay so all these maintenance aspects finally dependent on the type of material the quality of construction we are going to perform okay next why we need to go ahead with this maintenance it is called necessity of maintenance necessity of maintenance the cause which necessitate the maintenance affects the serviceability and durability of the that means why the maintenance is demand by the structure demand by the structure so because the first thing is 
atmospheric agencies or natural agencies that's what i've been told the building will be subjected to various natural agencies i will explain this next it will be subjected to wear and tear because we are using the building enormously automatically it will be subjected to wear and tear in the different ways next failure of a structure so these are the three aspects it demands the maintenance okay so let us see one by one so coming to the atmospheric agencies the very first atmospheric agency which creates the maximum damage on the building or a structure is rain because the building will be subjected to this condition okay rain it is the it is the important source of water which affects the structure in the following ways it is the we know that we require a rain it is a very important source but how exactly it damages the building let us see that see uh, coming to the physical causes okay the physical causes is dissolving and carrying away the minerals that means it will dissolve it will carry some minerals as it is a universal solvent so this particular rain will tend to create expansion and contraction in the concrete structure how the material is subjected to repetitive expansion and contraction while they become wet and dry that means okay the building will be subjected to a rain for a certain time after that it will get dry that means it will be subjected to wet and dry condition if this wet and dry condition is going to happen automatically enormous stresses will be created internally okay because of alternate wetting and drying it will create internal stresses once the building is subjected to internal stresses or the in internal stresses is increased in terms of tensile stresses so those effects will be visualized on the surface is it clear next expansion of water the variation of temperature causes the expansion and contraction of absorbed water and affects the microstructure of the material that means once the concrete absorbs the water once the concrete absorbs the water automatically as we state that the permeability property that means or what i can say the concrete per, okay, uh, structure will become permeable okay Co concrete structure will become permeable that means it will allow the water to flow through it once the water will get inside it will try to damage the interior properties of the concrete so that is the one more problem one is it will be subjected to alternate wetting and drying on the surface another thing is the rain will start entering inside the concrete okay that should not happen as i said i always say that the concrete should be impermeable it should not allow any water otherwise it will damage the or it will create the durability problem next erosion that is transportation attrition and abrasion of materials is quite evident that means uh, this will be common problem in the case of uh, as i stated in the dams that means the riprap movement that means it will carry all the debris construction debris okay so that the concrete structure structure will be subjected to enormous uh, wear and tear it is called erosion problem okay next chemical way okay this is a the, what i have been discussed is physical way of rain next let us go with the chemical way the water available in the natural nature that means the rain contains some acids that is called we usually usual practice we say that acid rain and alkaline we know that it will be alkaline in nature and other compounds in dissolved form acts over the material to give rise which is known as chemical weathering i think uh, you may know that uh, the one of the seven wonders of the world that is taj mahal you know that the taj mahal will be subjected to enormous acid rain because of this acid rain it the day by day it is losing its appearance so they are trying to improve their appearance by doing the sort of lot of maintenance so that's what okay this acid rain in the case of concrete structure will create a bad detrimental or negative effects so the next is wind coming to the wind so wind it is the age it is the agent which transport okay 
uh, we have been discussed the rain next is wind it is the agent which transport the abrasive material and assist physical weathering its action is aggravated during rains that means the wind also will create a negative effect on the concrete structure so especially during the rain when it is moving with high speed it may contains acid like carbon dioxide so this is the very uh, bad thing that means a villain okay the concrete receives as i have stated in carbonation effect the carb that means the concrete structure will be uh, reacted with a or will be attracted towards the carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere so those carbon dioxide will be carried by the wind okay so once the carbon dioxide enter inside the concrete it will try to react with the calcium hydroxide present in the concrete which will create carbonation effect which will create a carbonation effect inside the concrete okay next is temperature so this is the very 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 important thing uh, during construction practice also we need to follow and after construction practice also we need to look into it while designing okay that means whatever the building have been design or construction will be subjected to seasonal and annual variation we know that okay that from march to june it will be subjected to enormous sun okay after june it will be subjected to okay enormous rain after this uh, almost like uh, september it will be subjected to wind that means the building will be subjected to seasonal variation and also it will be subjected to annual variations that means whatever the building have been designed or constructed okay the my building it should perform or should resist all these variation that is called seasonal variations or annual variations so those difference in temperature in two parts will tend to create so what is going to happen sir if a seasonal variation is going to happen if this seasonal variation or annual variation is going to happen so this will create once again the expansion and contraction this will create expansion and contraction inside the concrete so if the, because of this expansion and contraction it will develop the internal stresses inside the concrete so this internal stresses will give rise to the cracks will give rise to the cracks okay so this cracks okay that means we need to look into for the maintenance next is normal wear and tear okay so during the use of structure it is subjected to abrasion so please listen here okay uh, erosion is different that means it will be continuously subjected to erosion here why i have written normal wear and tear means because uh, during the life okay the usage of a building it will be not subjected to that much amount of wear and tear okay so that's why it is called normal wear and tear okay so those during the use of structure it is subjected to abrasion and there it loses appearance so for example your tiles or flooring okay this flooring okay we we used to keep on walk on that particular surface so that particular flooring surface will be subjected to somewhat i can say some abrasion action or wearing action okay or all those things so automatically those uh, flooring tiles okay will loses its quality or i can say its appearance okay so this that's why it is called normal wear and tear okay this is a non structural problem next coming to the failure of a structure this is a one more thing one more thing okay so i have been discussed normal wear and tear okay and the failure okay now it is failure of structure let me define what is failure failure is defined as the behavior of structure not in agreement with expected condition that means whatever i have been designed or constructed okay that okay condition will be not meet by the structure so that's why it is called failure okay lacking freedom from necessary repair or non compliance with desired use of and occupancy of a complete structure that is what the failure so let me see that what are the failures improper design if you are not going to uh, properly design that means properly give the reinforcement properly not giving the depth all those things okay so that is called incorrect insufficient data or insufficient loading i can say all those things are improper design defective construction that means poor material that's what it said poor material poor workmanship 
lack of supervision, quality control, all these things will lead to the failure of structure. Next, improper usage. Improper usage means whatever the uh, structure have been designed, that means this is the amount of load it should carry. Okay, that have been designed. If you are going to do the overloading, that is what called improper use. Overloading, okay, selecting the structure for use for which they are not being designed. For example, this floor is not meant for machines. Okay, if I am going to accommodate some machines, automatically it will be subjected to some machinery's load. So automatically this floor will not able to carry those machinery's load. So this is called overloading. Okay. Okay, deteriorating environment, okay, due to impurities from industrial fuel, burnings, okay, sea water, that means uh, unexpected natural calamities or agencies, something like that, okay. So, that will also in turn, I uh, can say, lead to the failure of a structure. Next is lack of maintenance. So, this is very, very important, very, very important. That's what I have been told over there. If you do, do the improper maintenance, Okay, constructing and uh, living as it is, that is not, not a good thing. Okay, or I can say God good. Okay, if you do the proper maintenance, proper maintenance, it will uh, give, okay, a good serviceability. Okay, on our, and also I can say uh, the service life of the building can also be enhanced. Okay. So that's what the lack of upkeep, proper protection, precaution and preservation deteriorated the structure which may result in the failure. That's what. So th that's what I've been told. This maintenance is a very, very, very important step we need to follow. Okay. Next, these are the facts of maintenance. That is emergency maintenance. That means unforeseen breakdowns. That means, for example, earthquake, floods, fire. If those uh, natural calamities try to damage, we need to go with the emergency maintenance. Next, condition-based maintenance. That means, depending upon the Condition of a structure will go with the main. That is called condition based maintenance. Fixed time maintenance. That is activities repeated at predetermined intervals of time. That is called periodic. Periodic maintenance. Preventive maintenance. That is what the same. This is intended to preserve the preventive failure. That means before the damage itself I am going to use lot of precautions or preventive measures. That is called preventive maintenance. Opportunity maintenance. That is called work did as and when possible within the limits of operation. That is called opportunity maintenance. Next, day-to-day -day care and maintenance. That is also very important. See, we always uh, uh, make our house look better. So, we used to groom, we used to wa wash, all those things. So, like that, we need to go with the okay day-to-day -day maintenance. That is also there, day-to-day -day maintenance. Shutdown maintenance. That is thorough overall and maintenance after closing a facility. That means a proper closing, proper shutdown. Okay, all those things are very, very important. So, improvement plans, this is one more thing, this is essentially maintenance operation where weak links in the original structure and are replaced by a new part, that means improvement, that means if there is any damage or defects you are going to see, so those things you are going to improve by suggesting the repair. Okay, so this is regarding the facts, necessity, all those things. So, once again the same thing, importance which already been discussed, the same thing have been repeated here. Okay. So, this is the same thing, various aspects of maintenance, that is a daily routine maintenance, weekly routine maintenance, that means routine maintenance is very, very important, that's what. Sometimes the building demands, demands the daily maintenance, weekly maintenance, monthly maintenance on yearly routine maintenance, that's what I've been told. So, these are all the things, okay. Basically, I mean inspection oriented and may not contain actions to be taken, development of cracks, that means in order to prevent those cracks, I need to go with the daily maintenance. Check on the proper function of sewers, water line. That means if you go with the proper daily maintenance, no need to worry about the yearly maintenance or uh, what I can say uh, periodical maintenance. If you are taking care of your building, all those fixtures properly day to day, that means uh, daily, automatically you need not to bother about the periodic maintenance. That's what it is interlinked. If you are going to properly taken care daily, no need to worry about okay, weekly or monthly, all that, all those things. Next is check on the drain pipes from roofs during rain. That means, okay, monthly ones, clean your chajas, roofs, okay, so that, okay, all those, whatever the rain that has been come, that are deposited, so those we need to flush out from the pipes, okay. So all those things will create a, a negative effects on the building. 
weekly routine maintenance that is electrical accessories flushing sewer lines leakage of water line all those things we need to do okay and these are the monthly maintenance cleaning the doors windows latches checking septic tanks okay observation for cracks in the elements cleaning of overhead tanks peeling of plaster or dampness okay that means if you are going to taken care of all these things automatically your service life of a buildings will be improved yearly maintenance attending to the small repairs doing the white wash or painting painting of steel that means if there is any steel components exposed paint that okay check of displacement and remedial measure okay we need to go ahead with the all this yearly maintenance so if you go ahead with these types of maintenance that is day maintenance weekly maintenance monthly maintenance depending upon the condition of a structure okay or type okay we can take care the building better and also we can increase the service life of the building okay so this is regarding your maintenance okay hope the concepts has been clarified today so today we have been uh, discussed okay what is maintenance what are the different types of maintenance why we need to go with the maintenance what are the facts of maintenance okay and how to go ahead with the day to day maintenance weekly monthly yearly maintenance so these are the things have been discussed hope the concepts has been clarified so with this i am going to end the session of okay today thank you